habit trackers. Uh, I love habit trackers. They actually have changed my life quite a bit. Um, specifically, there was a time about two winters ago, if you live in the Midwest, the winter can be kind of a depressing time. And I discovered Sean McCabe or Sean West, as you may know him. Um, he had a version of a habit tracker that was like a very small, I think it was like four or five habits you could track. And I was so inspired. Um, I started a habit tracker myself and just began tracking little tiny habits that I wanted to do every day. And it's amazing how much I actually accomplished and how uh, connected I started feeling. One of the things I was kind of struggling with was feeling lonely and disconnected. And so um, one of my habits that I wrote on my tracker was to reach out to a friend or family member every single day, whether that was a text, a call, or a nice message on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. Uh, I decided to just start reaching out to one person a day and I even started reaching out to distant relatives and anyone I could think of and it helped so much. I can't even tell you. If you feel lonely, which we all do at times, I would highly recommend adding that as one of your um, habits from your habit tracker. So first and foremost, you can get your own habit tracker on my website, www.mickeydob.com. There'll be a link in the comment section below. You can download one for free there. Otherwise, I am handing these out at all of my yoga classes throughout the month of April and maybe beyond. We'll see. I love these things. So it's really just something I wanted to give as a gift to everybody to try to help you on your way to growth and maybe some change as well. So a few keys about starting these habit trackers are to choose very, very simple, little, tiny micro habits. So we're not talking goals. So we're not saying like lose 10 pounds, right? We're saying find one way to be active every day for 10 minutes, maybe. Something really little or like walk around the block. Um, one of my goals in the past was to read a lot more. So my goal was read one chapter a day. Still have that on my habit tracker. We'll go over this in a little bit, but uh, highly recommend even just cracking a book open and literally committing to reading one sentence, one page, one chapter, whatever you have time for. But just we're looking for these really micro uh, habits, something you can check off every day. It's not going to be like a goal. So it's just a habit. These little habits will help us reach our goals, but we want to feel successful and motivated every single day by accomplishing these little habits instead of failing every day until somehow our goal is finally reached. So that's what we're going for, micro habits. So we'll start going over the sheet here. You can see there's a spot for the month. Um, I always like to choose a word of the month or like a theme I'm working towards. This month, I decided to say my theme is aligned. I'm working at um, trying to say yes to things that feel aligned with me and no to everything else. So aligned, I want to just have that as my goal. Um, and then my affirmation of the month is I am thriving. Affirmations can seem kind of silly, but this is another thing that I just started. And whenever I do say affirmations, it, they help me um, to do kind of anything I want. I even started waking up at like 6 a.m. for a little while and I did that uh, because or the reason I was able to make myself wake up that early. I'm not a morning person if you know me. I usually don't like to wake up early but I was able to wake up at 6 a.m. by reading some affirmations and reasons why I wanted to at night and then first thing in the morning I would go and read my little affirmations before turning off the alarm clock or if I wanted to push snooze or if I was going to allow myself to go back to bed. I just had to read through my affirmations and it worked. Whenever I read the affirmations, it worked. I wanted to stay awake and go for it. So I think uh, affirmations are really powerful. You might think they're cheesy, but just give it a try and see how it works for you. So this month, I am thriving. I am thriving. Um, you want to put it in the present tense as if you already have this feeling. So if there's something you wish for, put it in the present tense. I am abundant. I have so much money, I don't know what to do with it. 
something more, maybe not that, but uh, you know, something is if you already have it, we want to be willing this in and helping uh, manifest these feelings. It's really about feelings, okay? It's not so much about the habits as it is. We're looking for these feelings of contentment, of love, belonging, health, wellness, thriving. I'm thriving. That's mine this month. So it's up to you. You can change it. You can just try something. If that's not for you, that's okay. I think there's a lot more benefit just in the rest of this sheet. So I started writing down a few habits that I'm going to go with this month. I have quite a few more I'm thinking about. So again, these are working, living, breathing uh, sheets, and you're welcome to change them at any time. So one that I think is just fun and easy, and I think everyone should have it on there, is brush your teeth in the morning and at night. So you can create habits if you want to do them more than once a day. You can put a little line through the date uh, in order to mark off when you do it in the morning and at the night time. So brush your teeth, AM, PM. We're looking for some simple, easy wins here. So again, little tiny micro habits, things that you know what you can do. They're not so hard. This isn't going to take willpower. Time is going to pass anyway, like that quote, time will pass anyway. So let's just do things that are easy and make it a goal. And how fun is it to check off little boxes? I think it's really fun. So second one I have written down is journaling. I began journaling a few months ago and it's actually really cool. Started writing down my dreams every morning and uh, it's amazing that now that I started writing down my dreams, I can remember my dreams every day. Like I'm programming myself to pay attention and remember and recall dreams. Um, otherwise before, or if I don't write them down, literally right away in the morning, I forget them. So journaling, I start with dream journal and then I just free write whatever comes to mind. Sometimes it's about what happened yesterday or what might happen today or how I feel. Sometimes I look online for journal prompts from other people, but the point here is to just write down anything. One sentence in your dream journal or in your regular journal um, is a win. There's no need to make it too hard. I'm also going to try to read at least one chapter of a book every day. Again, I have a goal long-term goal this year to read 47 books. Last year I read 45 and it was all because I committed to reading at least one chapter each day. So I'm going to try to do that again this year. So read one chapter is on it for me. I also decided to have one of my micro habits. This is kind of like a reverse one. So I wrote TV free. I'm not really interested in watching TV so much anymore. I actually just moved into a new place and we haven't even set up our TV. So I kind of like that. I seem to have a lot more time and I'm spending it in ways that I feel like are more aligned with my goals and who I want to be and who I want to become. So I'm going to write down TV free and every day that I'm TV free, I'm going to scribble in that box and it's going to feel so good. I also decided that this concept of emptying and forgiving every morning and evening is really important to me. So um, just taking a few moments to try to cut the storylines in my mind, try to stop any kind of chatter about what's going to happen or what will happen if something doesn't happen or all the worries and all of that. Like I just wanna start my day by like emptying and forgiving myself for any anything in the past anything in the future i just want to empty myself especially at the end of the day i think it's going to be really important to empty forgive release anything so if you're not checking off all of your boxes every day you need to forgive yourself it's fine worrying is worse than doing or not doing any of these things on your list so seriously i highly recommend putting like emptying and forgiving and just like letting go the morning in the morning and at night if possible it literally is going to take me maybe a minute before I get out of bed I'm just going to have the intention as I'm laying there like so the new day the slate is clean I'm present let's see what we have to do today it's going to be great I'll let you know how this goes too I'll give you all an update at the end of the month and we'll check in and then also I wrote down on here to say my affirmations just the one I wrote on top or if I have other ones I decide I want to do Cool. Super easy. So as you can tell, all these things, very easy. I think the hardest one is going to be to read a chapter every day because sometimes 
the day just kind of gets away from you and uh, takes the most amount of time. So I'd love to hear what your habits are. You can write them down below or uh, I think I'm going to talk about this again at my upcoming yoga class classes, especially um, this week I actually handed out some of the habit trackers during my class on Tuesday night at the North Commons Recreation Center, and I was so happy to see how many people actually were interested in grabbing one. I think we all have goals, and we're all trying to become better people, and this is such a nice little tool to use in order to help motivate yourself and prepare yourself to um, reach these goals eventually, but again, let's just keep it easy. We, we deserve to keep it easy. We deserve to move slowly in the direction that we want to go instead of moving backwards. So um, let's see, I have a couple notes here. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, I think it's so important to print these habit trackers out. I've tried doing habit tracking on my phone with apps. No. <laughs> At least for me, it does not work. It only works when it's printed out and I'm physically writing on it. I'm checking things off. It's not on the phone. It's so easy to get distracted on your phone. A notification pops up. Uh, we are wired to pay attention to alerts um, because of who we used to be, uh, hunters and gatherers. Like any little noise, anything that's popping up, like gets our attention right away because it's a survival instinct. So, of course, we're addicted to our phones because they're constantly notifying us and we have to look at them. So screw that. Not looking at the phone when we're doing habit trackers. Print this out. Again, if you want one printed out, I have, I'm going to bring a bunch of them to any of my classes um, this April, maybe beyond. We'll see. Otherwise, you can download it from my website and print it out yourself. If you want to try doing it digitally, it's up to you, but I swear it makes a big difference when it's printed out. Um, Oh, yes, how could I forget? At the bottom of the habit tracker, there are other habit trackers like this out there on the internet. I have been so inspired by them, but there this is the only one. I, did, I decided to create one myself because it was kind of missing these little components that I thought were so important. So at the bottom here, you'll see that there's a section on rating the day, one through five. I think it's so important to track your moods. I also have another mood tracker on my phone called Daily IO or Dailyo, and I think it is so important, at least for me, to track my mood every day because why, why even do these habits if it's not helping you feel good? Maybe you can try to start making some correlations between like when you talk to your friends and if you get to see somebody in person, if you leave the house, if you take a shower, these are all things you can write down on your habit tracker um, just to kind of gain some awareness around how you're spending your time. And the whole reason that I do this is to try to feel better, at least okay, you know? Try, at first I was like aiming for like a three, like okay just having okay days, you know? And now I find that when I do a lot of the habits, I want. Um, it's really easy for me to say a four or a five. So I think it's so important to write the day at the end of the day. So, ooh, I definitely have to write, take my vitamins on here too. I always forget. So if I have it written down, even if it's like the end of the day, I'm like, oh, gotta go take my vitamins. I swear, this is so good. So um, I'm going to read the quote at the bottom of this too. Every action you take is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. That's James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, which is an excellent book all about these micro habits, these atomic habits, the tiniest little habits that can compound quickly and create transform transformational changes without really having to try too hard, okay? Again, it's not about these long-term goals. It's about the tiny, tiny, tiny little easy things that don't even take very much effort in the day. Perfect. Well, let me just see if there's any other notes here. Ooh, I have lots of notes. So another note is uh, meditation. Yes, you should try to meditate every day. But if that seems really intimidating, highly encourage you to try something else that gets you into this flow state, okay? So if it's not just straight up meditating, maybe that is journaling for you. Maybe that is like doodling with a pen. Maybe that is painting. Maybe that is practicing an instrument, going for a walk, 
looking at the clouds, just literally anything that gets you into this flow state, okay? So if it's not straight up meditation, there's so many great meditation apps and whatnot out there. Highly recommend the Insight Timer uh, if you're looking for an app. But if that seems intimidating or something you're not going to be able to commit to, again, just find something really easy and fun, something that just sparks a little bit of joy in your life that gets you into that flow state or the creativity state. Okay. Um, a couple other habits that I was contemplating is make myself tea every day. Love to do that. I used to write a haiku every morning, which was really funny and super easy. And um, yeah, maybe some other things you might want to do. You might want to use your habit tracker to track uh, the number of hours you're on social media, even if you don't want to do that or the number of drinks you have every day, or any other vices that you have, just to remain super aware of what you're doing, okay? You can write down numbers in these boxes instead of just checking them off. You can make this really your own here. So this is the template that I created just to help you get started, but you are welcome to change anything you want. Um, also, you don't have to write down habits for every single line. I always recommend not writing down a habit for every single line, okay? We want we want easy, quick wins here. So just choose some little things. Um, another good one I thought was just like, catch yourself in the middle of the day or any time and just literally take three breaths where you're feeling your slow inhales and exhales, just three breaths. You can do that any time. That'd be a great one to write down. Um, if there's anything you're already doing every day that you like and that makes you feel good, write that down. We want to check off these boxes, okay? So pick some things that you're already enjoying. If you're already brushing your teeth every day, that's great. Just write it down. It's going to be good. Um, let's see. Ooh, another one I think I want to add at some point is just to wish love to other drivers when I'm in traffic and when I'm driving. I just want to like consciously be like, I hope you get where you're going safe. I hope, I hope you're doing well today. Oh, thank you for using your blinker. Just send out love because it's really easy for me and I'm sure everybody or most people. Um, traffic makes me so upset and so mean and I don't like it. So I'm going to consciously try to like send some love to people while I'm driving because that and chanting, listening to um, some kirtan music or mantra chanting while I'm in the car makes a big difference for me and keeping my vibes where I want them to be. So just let's experiment here. Try whatever you want. I'm also obviously going to write down yoga on my list because I'm either teaching or doing or researching yoga and meditation every single day. It is one of my biggest passions and um, I think it's really important to my life and I don't wanna, I don't wanna stray from that. So I'm gonna write it down on my list. Keeping things front of mind here. Trying to become the person I really wanna be and it's going really well. Uh, let's see, okay. That's about it for my points. I could probably keep talking about examples, but if you want to hear more, you can start the conversation below and I'd love to answer any questions that you have. Otherwise, if you're looking to get a habit tracker for me in person, I have an opportunity almost every day of the week now, either for free. I have four offerings a week that are completely free um, in Minneapolis. One is at the Midtown Global Market every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I'll be teaching beginner-friendly yoga. And then I also teach beginner-friendly yoga for free on Tuesday evenings at 5.30 at the North Commons Recreation Center, where some of you already got your hands on these habit trackers last night, um, depending on when you're watching, but it was last Tuesday. And uh, I also teach at Open Minds Fusion Studio, and I would love to see you all in classes. I would love to hear from you about how your habit trackers are going, or if you need any support or advice or anything. I want to help you. I want, that helps me as well. So let's do this together. I believe in you. I believe in me. I am thriving. I hope you are thriving too, and it's okay if you're not. All right, 
I don't thrive every day. I don't feel good every day. A lot of days I feel up and down and all around, like all the emotions every day, each day. So just know that wherever you're at, completely honor you there and know that the only place we can start is exactly where we're at right now and spending any time worrying or feeling bad about where we're not or who else is somewhere it doesn't matter okay let's just forgive let's start the day again emptying and forgiving ourselves and others every single day morning and night let go let go let go let go all right all we can do is our best in this moment so let's stay there all right, can't wait to hear from you, and uh, adios.